Well, 2012 may be special for us here at STV, with this being our 15th year anniversary. It's also a milestone for Yamaha snowmobiles, and quite frankly, snowmobiling in general. You see, it was 10 years ago when Yamaha shook the foundation of an industry when they launched the RX-1, the very first high-performance four-stroke powered sled. 10 years, yes, 12 will be our 10th four-stroke snowmobile um, model year. We took a different direction than most. We decided to do the most difficult thing first. We decided to build the high-performance flagship model first. And, and when you're doing that, that's a big, big challenge. And much easier to go and develop a utility sled or a touring sled because you didn't have to build all the performance into it. So now, 10 years later, we've um, far advanced that old snowmobile. It's, um, it's come a long way. You know, when we first launched the RX-1, I was working for Snowmobile TV. And, uh, I remember riding it and loving it because I'm a street bike guy, just loving that engine. But you had to forgive it some of its handling quirks to be willing to ride it. I mean, there was some compromise. And now with the EPS Apex and the EPS and the other models, there's no compromise anymore. You really, I haven't found anything with more ultimate all-around performance than an Apex on a trail. I don't care if the trail is bumpy or not. So it's kind of exciting how far we've come. Um, it's been our direction for a long time. We're not going back. And I think really honestly, that is the future, you know, that whether it's 10 years, 20 years, they're not going away. As innovators in technology, Yamaha was first with high performance four stroke power, first with slide valve carburetors, and most recently first out of the gate with power steering on a snowmobile. Some very serious achievements indeed. So being nosy types, we had to ask, what's next? Uh, I have to leave it up to you guys to guess a little bit, but we are always and going to remain, we think, the leaders in four-stroke technology. So the future is certainly going to be four-stroke, and I think once you try a four-stroke sled and you realize the benefits of that power, once you decide, hey, I think I'm going to buy a four-stroke sled, is there really any other choice but Yamaha? Being a good politician, John said a lot without telling us anything about what's under the covers in the future. But we tried. And we know with Yamaha, there will be some very cool offerings coming soon to a trail near you. Today we say congrats to Yamaha on 10 years of high performance four strokes and a move that forever changed an industry. Just about anyone who's involved in snowmobiling in Canada knows of Craig Nicholson, the intrepid snowmobiler. We are proud to say that Craig has been part of our show since its inception. Flashing back, here's one of our favorite intrepid feature stories from season one, back in 1996. We're all looking forward to that first ride of the season. So why spoil it with sore muscles or a stiff back? Your best bet is to get into shape at the local gym with a regular preseason workout. But here's how I limber up my lower back, hip, and thigh muscles. First a sloppy push-up, then knees to chest, a groin stretch, pullovers, a hamstring stretch, gluteals. I also prevent throttle thumb by exercising my right hand before and during the season. Finally, a quad stretch. I do these stretches before and after each ride to make sure I avoid aches and pains throughout the season. Of course, you don't have to wear a snowmobile suit like I did, but my producer said it was either this or spandex. Eat your heart out, Jane Fonda. For Snowmobiler Television, I'm Craig Nicholson, the intrepid snowmobiler. It's actually beyond my wildest expectations right now. Uh, it's hard for people to fathom how difficult this actually is. I mean, we ride a lot in Minnesota, but the kind of riding we're doing here, my partner and I were talking this morning, we might do riding like that for 20 minutes, but we don't do it for 40 hours straight without sleep or water. And uh, basically, we had a couple of issues that showed up, which you don't think about. We were wearing basically reservoirs of water and the lines froze. So, you know, until we got to a checkpoint, we had absolutely nothing to drink and got severely dehydrated. And for anyone that's ever been dehydrated, last night I couldn't move my legs.
STV is sponsored by Articat, celebrating 50 years in snowmobiling. By Ultimax Snowmobile Belts, make it a round trip. And by Snowboard Canada Magazine, Canada's best snowmobile. Next week on Snowmobiler TV, we send the crew to Sudbury, Ontario for a full-on special program featuring very interesting tour opportunities in the region and the Big Deal Poker Run and Kick and Concert in the Nickel City. Got comments or suggestions? Email us at info at snowmobilertv.com and be sure to visit the STV website for more awesome sledding videos and entertainment. We appreciate your time. Join us again for STV. STV.